Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So work out the limit of this as x tends to zero. So press pause and have a go. Okay, be before you do anything, make sure that it is of the indeterminate form. So when when as x heads towards zero, put zero into here. That will be sine of zero will be zero. Put zero into here. That will be this, and then put zero into here. That so so here you have got zero over zero. Now you know that you can apply L'Hopital's rule. So you have to make sure you have got an indeterminate form before you can apply L'Hopital's rule. So, so now that we know it's 0 over 0, we know we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So remember, we're going to differentiate this, and then we're going to differentiate this. So to evaluate this limit as x tends to 0, we would... Um, we, we, know, we know that it's 0 over 0. So we know you have to make sure you have to check this before you, you can apply L'Hopital's rule. So, uh, so now that we know zero over zero, we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So, so differentiate this. That will then give you this, and then differentiate this. That will then give you this. So, uh, so the limit of this will be the same as the limit of this. So now let's plug this into here. So now you've got cos uh, cos of zero will be one. Take away take away one, and then you've got put zero into here. So you've got um, uh, you've got zero down here. Well, this is zero over zero. It's still it's still indeterminate. So we 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 now know we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So let's let's apply it again. So differentiate this. That will then give you this, and then differentiate this. That will then give you this. Now let's check it again. So put zero into here. So sine of zero, zero will be zero. Negative zero is zero. So uh, so it would be zero over two. Well, zero over two, nothing breaks down. Zero over two is a perfectly legitimate answer. It, it is a, a perfectly legitimate number. Nothing really breaks down. So so the answer is well, zero divided by two is zero. Okay, next one. So find the uh, find the limit of this as x tends to zero. So press pause and have a go. Okay, first check um, that is uh, that is of an indeterminate form. Remember, tan tan looks something like this. Tan looks something like this. Uh, uh, if so, so tan of x looks something like this. Uh, if you if you sorry, tan tan of tan of x tan of x looks something like this. But then if you if you um, if you have tan three x. Then it's going to get squeezed inwards, but but the overall form will be something something along this line here, something of this form. So it's still zero here. So so put plug this into here. It will be tan of zero tan of zero. So which will be which will be uh, zero. So here you've got zero over zero. So you know you can apply L'Hopital's rule. So we know we 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 know that this we know that this is of the form zero over zero. So now we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So, so differentiate this. Differentiating this will then give you this, and then uh, differentiate this will then give you this. Um, yeah, differentiate this; it will give you this, and then differentiate this; it will then give you this. Um, as x tends to zero, put it into here. So that will be cos of zero. Uh, cos of zero will be will be one, and then you've got to square it. So that will be uh, that will be one. So so three over one is three. So this whole thing here is three. Three divided by one is three. Okay, next one here. So find the limit of this um, as x tends to to zero. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, most of you will probably do this. Uh, most of you. So so we're trying to. We're trying to evaluate this limit here. We're trying to evaluate this here. Most of you will, 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 will just do this. Differentiate this. That will then give you this. And then, and then differentiate this. That will then give you this. And then you, you, you can have zero. You see, this is wrong. Because the first thing you should do, the first thing you should do, well, the reason why it's wrong is because of this. If you get a graph plotter and plot um, cos x over x, if you get a graph plotter and plot this, it will look like this, and you can see the the limit is not zero. Here, here, it's saying the limit is zero, but but this is um, but if you look at the graph, it's not heading towards zero. Zero is right here. 
it's not heading towards zero. So this thing here, this thing here is wrong. And the reason why it's wrong is because the first thing you should do is just check that it that it is of an indeterminate form. Because if you look at this, put zero into here, this thing here will be one. Put zero into here, this thing here is going to be zero. So this is an um, this is not an indeterminate form. So you can't apply L'Hopital's rule. So this whole thing here is wrong. So well, you you should you should note that um, uh, from our section on limits, as that, if if you put zero into here, you're going to get one, and then put zero into here, you're going to get you're going to get zero. There's a theorem that says that if the top number is uh, is a definite number and this thing here is is zero, then then you you're going to get you're going to get does not exist. The limit does not exist. If if this number is a definite number, this this denominator is a zero, then you're going to get something like you're, you're going to get something that will shoot up and and shoot down. Um, we, we we've already done this. If there's a theorem that says that if the numerator is a definite number, let's say seven, and then the denominator is heading towards zero, then 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 you're going to get a case where one's going to shoot up, the other one's going to shoot down. It's it's just like um, it's just like one over x. Uh, the limit uh, as x tends to zero. If you look at the graph one over x, one over x looks like this. And as um, as x tends to zero, as x tends to zero, this side from the positive side is going to shoot up. From the negative side, it's going to shoot down. Um, if if this thing here is a definite number and this is heading towards zero, you're going to get thus not exist and we've already done this um if, if you look at let's say uh let's say one over x minus seven um so one over x looks like this well one uh one over so this here is seven one over x minus seven will look something like this now if you if you try and take the limit as x tends to to uh positive seven this is a definite one here. This is going to head towards zero. This is a definite number. This is heading towards one. You know, it's not does not exist because if you look at this, seven is here. As x heads towards seven, from the positive side, it's going to shoot up. From the negative side, it's going to shoot down. So you know. So so when when I gave you this earlier here, the first thing you should do is you check that it's of the form zero over zero. But here, when you put it into here, this thing here is going to be one. And then uh, this thing here is going to be zero, and you should note that um, you should notice that this is a definite number. This is zero. One's going to shoot up. One's going to shoot down. So you can say the limit here does not exist. And then if you get a graph plot and plot it, you're going to get one that from the right hand side is going to shoot up, and the left hand side is going to shoot down. So the limit does not exist. Okay.